Your home is important to you. How would you feel if someone came around and told you they would start charging you for any spare room you had? This is what the coalition government have decided to do with its bedroom tax policy. Attacking the poorest and most vulnerable people in society, leading to people to give up their homes that they have lived in for many years, even leading to suicide. Struggling to pay her bills, Stephanie Bottrell decided, at 53 years old, to end her life. In a suicide letter to her son, she said, Don't blame yourself for me ending my life. It's my life. The only people to blame are the government. Stephanie was affected by the government's so-called bedroom tax and had her benefits cut by £20 a week for two spare rooms. Her son Stephen told the Sunday People newspaper that she couldn't cope. She was fine before this bedroom tax. It was dreamt up in London by people living in offices and big houses. They have no idea the effect it has on people like my mum. Anger against the unfair bedroom tax is growing as anti-bedroom tax groups form around the country. Protests have taken place in such places as Merseyside, Manchester and over 5,000 in Glasgow leading to the Anti-Bedroom Tax Federation being formed in Scotland. Even here in Coventry we had a lobby outside the council house calling on Coventry City Council to oppose the bedroom tax. We call on all social housing providers such as Whitefriars, Orbit and Midland Heart not to evict tenants who cannot pay the bedroom tax. We provide updates on our Facebook page Coventry Against the Bedroom Tax and also on Twitter. We will continue to protest and lobby and we're holding public meetings around Coventry in areas such as Henley, Hillfields and Stoke Oldermore. We are supported by the Socialist Party who are campaigning week in and week out to see the bedroom tax scrapped. Join us in our campaign as we aim to stop the bedroom tax.